Hey everybody, Will Henson here. I want to take a few minutes to tell you about the new Global War available from Historical Board Gaming. Let's talk about the map. This is a beautifully redone 1936 world map. Just tell you a few features that we've added to this map. First of all, we have railroads. You can see there's uh, railroads running everywhere. These are uh, 1936 historically accurate rail lines. They don't go everywhere, but um, they do go where they ran in 1936. We've also added uh, mountains to the uh, to the rules and mountainous borders. There are uh, rivers. Let's see if we can zoom in on a river here. And there's also canals such as the Baltic White Sea Canal and the Kiel Canal. There's a lot of different territories here. For example, if you come down to Africa, we have a lot of the minor colonies that you're not going to find anywhere else. And if you come over here to China, we have China in its uh, 1936 state, which is um, separated into warlord territories. So the uh, China is broken up there. We even have Tanatuva, which uh, most people do not put on their maps. So that's a, that's a look at our, uh, at our map. Let's take a look at some of the other things that come with the game. We have uh, reference sheets. So the, uh, each of the major powers has a reference sheet. It has a build chart on there with all the different kinds of things that you can build. And it also has setups telling you where to put things when you start the game. We have our technology chart. Technology chart is a multi-stage chart. You can see that you can progress through different stages until you actually reach the completion of the technology. Uh, some nations begin with an advantage in different uh, technologies. And we did it this way because with some of our 3D printed pieces and expansions, you can actually build prototypes if you have stage two or stage three uh, completed. Now we have our turn tracker and our income tracker. This tracks your industrial production points, your money, as well as the game turn. And finally, we have our um, production chart. This is a multi-stage production chart. You can see that some units go through different stages of building until they actually reach the place units box, which means that, for example, a battleship and an aircraft carrier and a shipyard are gonna take longer to produce than, say, an airfield or some of these other units. So that is a very quick overview of Global War 1936, or we also call it Global War 2nd Edition. If you don't like 36, it also has a 1939 start date, and uh, you can so you can play it either way. The game is 12 turns long if you start in uh, 1939, and 18 turns long if you start in 36. So, quick overview there. Check us out at historicalboardgaming.com.